So let me just start off by saying, hey, welcome to my midweek Chinese takeaway cook along. Thank you so much for tuning in week in, week out when I'm here. Tonight I'm cooking a um, black pepper beef, um, which is a dish. Fond memories again, this one. We used to serve it on a sizzling platter in the restaurant and it would um, fill the air with smoke and aromats, which is pretty cool. For the marinade, in here I have two teaspoons of black pepper. Now this is black pepper beef. Um, I couldn't find the whole peppercorns, but I managed to get a grinder and I've just ground these in. And I'm gonna use around about a teaspoon and a half for the marinade. So there's one teaspoon and there's my half. We'll add that to the bowl. I can pop that to one side for a second. I have two teaspoons of corn flour, which is gonna go straight into this bowl. Sounds like a bell. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Sounds like someone clanging a bowl. <laughs> so there's my corn flour. Um, I have a tablespoon of rice wine. If you have, don't have rice wine, um, you can use dry sherry or red wine. Two tablespoon, I'm sorry, one tablespoon of light soy sauce. I did spill this earlier and put a bit more in, so you know what, sod it. I'm gonna use it. I've got about a tablespoon and a bit in there, but it's fine. And lastly, two tablespoons of oyster sauce. So I'll just get this into here. Now what we need to do, we need to get our hands in and marinate this beef. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna work these flavors and the corn flour into the meat, okay? So mine is quite liquid, which is fine. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna massage this for about a minute or so and then we're gonna set it to one side. Now ideally, if you can, you wanna set this to one side for around about two hours and ideally overnight. So, but really two hours, but we're gonna do this for about 10 or 15 minutes. Like I said, um, I'm using a really nice cut of beef, which is 21 days aged and, the, and, the, and the, you know, it's gonna be tender. When I got the um, steak, I had just opened the packet and then I cut across the grain. So you can imagine the steak was kind of like that, that shape and just cut along the grain this way. So you always make sure that when you're um, cutting meat, you want to cut against the grain. The other things that we're going to need for this is a green pepper, an onion, and a garlic clove, okay? So let's chop our pepper first. So um, I've just chopped pepper in half. Um, for you guys that haven't watched um, one of my videos before, this is how simple it is to take the seeds out of a pepper. Literally, I'm just gonna take this core, core piece out the middle and I'm just gonna bang off the seeds, take out a little bit of this membrane in the middle. No other reason than we're just trying to tidy it up. You can eat it. And then we've got a piece of clean pepper. Um, since there's only two veggies in this one, we use all of the pepper and all of the onion. And again, another clean piece of pepper. For the onion, I'm just gonna take the top and the bottom off, chop it in half, and then take off the outer layer of skin. I just crush the garlic clove, it just makes it a bit easier to peel. Okay, so there's a garlic clove done. Onion slices. So again, tucking the fingers away. And we're just gonna chop our onions. No, not really. Okay, so there's my onions chopped. And the same with the pepper. Now these are all in slices. This is how it was served in the restaurant and this is why I'm doing it now. So there's my pepper, my onion, garlic. I've smashed it and I've just chopped it into a couple of pieces. It's just, you know, as I'm getting older, garlic has started to repeat on me. <laughs> so I'm only 47 years old and all of a sudden certain foods starting to repeat, which isn't good because I enjoy my food. So I tend to leave my garlic a little bit bigger these days just so if I do spot it in the dish, I'll pick it out. Sometimes, gluttonous gotlin gets a mouthful of garlic and it's a big piece as well. But there you go, it's just one of those things, isn't it? So, right in. We're prepped. <laughs> oh, we've got some chicken stock. We've got a little bit of black pepper left over. And of course, my thickening agent, which is, yes, corn flour and water to make a slurry. Like always, let's get the hot wax hot. I'm going to turn the music down just a little tiny bit and we'll just let that get nice and smoking. I'm going to add a tablespoon and a half of oil. In here is just normal vegetable oil. Um, you can use ground nut, rapeseed, sunflower, whatever you want. 
Okay, um, there is quite a bit of marinade in here, which I'm not gonna pull out. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add the beef now to the hot wok, and I'm just gonna sear my meat. And try not to splash this lovely shirt. And spread out my meat. And then uh, just let it sear, just for 30 seconds or so. And then I'll give it a quick mix. So at the moment, I'm still not stirring it. I'm just literally separating each of these pieces of beef. So I've just, you can just see on that beef there, you just see the caramelization that's building up. Now, it will caramelize a lot quicker today because we've uh, marinated it. Now, the uh, natural sugars in the oyster sauce is gonna make it, you know, um, caramelize a, a lot, lot quicker. Okay, to this, I'm gonna add my garlic. And we're just gonna let that sear off just for another 20 or 30 seconds. Just making sure that garlic is in the, touching the pan, and just making sure that we're releasing those aromats, okay? Okay, so now I'm just getting that little background smell of garlic. Obviously, if you want that stronger flavor of garlic, just chop it nice and fine and get it in, okay? Now to add my onion. Just throwing a bit of onion on the floor. And again, what is, what's wrong with me today? So there's the onion going in. Now the only reason I'm not adding the pepper at the same time is again, I've mentioned this a couple of times when I've done the lives, that um, when we overcrowd the pan, the pan gets cold or it starts to lose its heat. And then remember that Chinese cooking is all about stir fry, so about retaining that heat in the wok. So I'm just going to let that heat build back up again. You know what I've not done? I'm not so sure if I had camera on. Okay, so let's get the peppers in there. So you can still hear the pan is sizzling, which is lovely. And a good sign that we're still frying at the moment. So again, just give it a quick move around and then let's leave it alone. Let's just let the wok catch up with the, what the action was going on in the wok. This is looking good. Now the vegetables are really quite crispy at the moment. I'm only going to give them about another 20 seconds before getting the stock in and bringing it to the boil and then we'll thicken. So when we eat these, you should get the crunch of the onion and the pepper. What we're doing, we're just cooking out the rawness, but everything else should be nice and crispy, okay? Okay, so we're going to add in now about half a cup to a third of a cup of stock. And we'll just give that a mix. Let's get it up to the boil. Now remember, there's corn flour in the marinade. So even though I've added my stock, the sauce is wanting to thicken already. So this may not take, take a lot of corn flour now, just to thicken up. That's just why I want to bring it to the boil first before I add the corn flour, just to see how thick it gets. Now I know I say this every week, but please go and give this a go. And for those that don't like the green pepper, I'm not a big fan on crunching on cream pe green peppers, but the flavor you get in this dish from the green pepper is amazing. So I'm just adding my corn flour, stirring at the same time. This just stops it from congealing and going into a lump. And I'm just gonna thicken it. So I've got like thick double cream, I guess, is the where I wanna be. Okay, I think that should be fine. That's the beef cooked and thickened. Like always, I'm just gonna add a drizzle of sesame oil. Give that a quick stir. I'll add this to my bowl. So for you beefy lovers out there, go and give this a go guys, because this is a fantastic tasting dish. And we're just gonna finish off with a sprinkle of fresh ground black pepper, because after all, this is black pepper beef. <clears throat> and there we have it, you wonderful people. My uh, beef with green pepper onion in a black pepper sauce. If you don't see me for a month, I apologize now. It just means we're snowed under and we're off out on about filming, but I will be back and um, have a fantastic October just in case I don't see you, okay? Thank you again for watching and I shall see you very soon. See you later, Auntie Dawn, Jojo, Mum, Nathan, Mike, Spellbound, Ian, Lamp, everybody. You're all fantastic and thank you again for supporting. All right, see you later. Bye-bye.